Hello, welcome. And uh, today I'm going to show you how to fix the error. This accessory is not made to work with the iPhone. Please uh, switch off to the airplane mode to reduce audio interference. So this problem is very common nowadays and each and every iPhone is getting that shit. So uh, finally looking onto the internet from the last 10 days, 15 days, uh, I found a fix and it works really well. This fix will disable the automatic pop-up that just pop up like this and it causes a lot of problem and reduces the battery life a lot. So the fix is really simple. I have two fixes for it. I'll show you the simple one. So this fix is on Cydia. So it's easy for you guys to uh, download and install. No need for any SSH or anything. You need a jailbreaking phone. Uh, it may be iPhone 2G, 3G or 3GS. Running on firmware more than 2.2 that is uh, 3.0, 3.1, 2.2, 2.1 everything will be fine even 2.0 will work so uh, from 2.0 to 3.1 you can try out this fix for earlier firmware I'll show you some other fix okay so we start from 2.0 to 3.1 and iPhone 2G, 3G and 3GS all the phones so I'm doing it on the iPhone 2G, 8GB and uh, it works on the 3G and 3GS also so let's start with it first you need to have a jailbroken phone that is uh, you have to use red snow on windows or quick pawn on uh, uh, on your mac so for the jailbreak jail, for jailbreak procedure i'll show you a link if you don't know how to do it and uh, if after after your phone is jailbreaked you need to go to Cydia you have installed Cydia you need to go to Cydia let the sources get refreshed it's showing updating database so just let it happen Now you need to go to manage to add a new source. I'll tell you a new source. So you need to go to manage. Um, Alright. So in manage you have the second icon of sources. After you go to the sources you need to edit and add a new source. The new source is xcellize.com slash cdn. So I'll spell it. It's x s e double l i z e dot com slash cdn. Hope you're able to see it xlis.com slash cdn so once you add the source once you add the source you you'll get a source like this this one okay so once you have it your source will be refreshed then you need to go to uh, you need to go to the search in search type pop up p o p U P P O P U P. So you have two pop-up blockers. The first one is the official one, which is the trial version provided by Cydia, and the second one is the uh, unlimited version. It is a cracked version because we added a new source XLIs, so it provides you all the cracked applications. And uh, this one is the one which you need to install. Pop-up blocker. Go to install and just click on install once it's installed everything is done now you just go back 
go to the settings uh, in the bottom you'll see a pop-up blocker setting so here you can manage all your pop-ups you can disable them enable them so for our problem we need to disable the uh, the accessory is not made to work with the iPhone which is very annoying and I know many guys are pissed off with it it just randomly pops up every time so you just need to go to alerts you have the accessory warning now you need to enable all the three here on on and on you need to go to back back and disable the wake on alert it's here you have to disable like this you have to put it off okay then you need to go back settings and just done okay you won't get any alert pop-up now I'll show you even I'm not getting any pop-ups now uh, I've installed installed this from last two days and it re works really well so uh, so it's a good now uh, working better iPhone 2G even I was really pissed off with that accessory is not made to work with iPhone um, this is the first and the easiest method to disable the pop-up your dock will work fine everything will work good and you won't get this uh, this accessory is not made to work with the iPhone pop-up and but uh, the one one drawback is that uh, sometimes you won't have the the click sound see I'm not having this the click sound which use which is used to be there when you unlock the phone just check the sound I don't have it and even when you when I log it I don't have that sound so it disables that sometimes because the dock is damaged so uh, hope hope you like this tutorial and uh, if you have any doubts or any help is needed you can contact me at my email ID coolbeer1990 c o o l b w e r 1990 at yahoo.com and uh, even you can ask anything uh, in the comments if you like so thank you so much for watching the video bye